Hey there, everyone. We just got word on Quinton Dunbar. No, he is not signing with the player yet, but he, or the team yet, but he will be visiting two teams this week. So, after spending the year with Seattle Seahawks after being traded by, to, by Washington, it did not look good for him. I mean, seriously, being caught on the exempt list and then. And then all of a sudden, tsh, a dangerous injury at week two against the Patriots. Yeah, Quinton Dunbar's time with Seattle was not good. Still, it was still that week two matchup was a bit decent till that till he went down till he went down. <sighs> and I know all you Seattle fans are one are thinking maybe we should move on from this guy considering the fact that he hasn't done much. Yeah, I completely agree, but still, Quinton Dunbar, maybe he wants what's best for himself, but still. I mean, seriously, the dude was placed on injured reserve November 19th, 2020. He was designated to return on December 9th to, to practice with the team, but then... He underwent knee surgery on December 29th, thus ending his season with the Seattle Seahawks. In other words, his time with the Seahawks was a bust. Still, Quinton Dunbar definitely wants to take things somewhere else. So, here are the two teams that he's visiting this week. The first one is the Detroit Lions. The Lions. Yeah. I can see... Yeah, I could see Detroit working with him, especially if he can get keep his injuries from going down from going from going way up. I mean, seriously, Detroit Lions, man. Still I have no clear comments about Detroit, but I do have comments about his second team, Arizona Cardinals. Are you crazy? The Cardinals have too much firepower. J.J. Watt, Malcolm Butler. Uh, is this is this crazy? If they get Quinton Dunbar, despite the fact how terrible he had a season last year with Seattle, they won't even need to draft J.C. Horn. I mean, seriously, they don't even have to draft J.C. Horn unless it's a one-year deal. They won't even need to draft J.C. Horn. Unless, of course... Phew, because, guess what? They would have to come down to either Malcolm Butler or Quinton Dunbar. Still, I think Quinton Dunbar could be a temporarily alliance. Still, if Arizona gets him, then... And J.C. Horn is drafted over there. Maybe they could keep Malcolm Butler, considering the fact... You know what? I'm changing my vote. Arizona might get him. He could help. It could benefit J.C. Horn by learning. And it could help them keep Malcolm Butler out in the long run. Guess we'll have to find out how those meetings turn out, won't they? Anyway, see, and I bring you even more breaking news.